Okay, we're just going to do the uh, the next video. So it's going to be on our 55mm acrylic square. So again, go to um, sorry, go to Onshape logo, create a new document, I'm going to call it 55mm acrylic square. Click OK. It'll bring up our work plane views. <coughs> and then we're ready to start. Again, it's just a repetition of what we did on the 65mm uh, the square really, but I'll, I'll run through it relatively quickly as I put a bit more detail in the other one. So again, click on sketch, select the top plane, so again I hover over it, left click on my mouse, and then go into select centre point rectangle rather than corner point. Again, hover over the origin, goes orange, drag out our square. Again, not worried about how big it is because I'm going to dimension it anyway. Uh, so again, hover over, so with the dimension tool clicked, hover over the line you want to dimension, left click, drag it out. Again, sometimes that happens. If it does, uh, you can just click on the uh, the dimension tool, it'll go away and we can re-dimension it. Again, you can see there, I've done that, no problem at all. So again, I'm going to change this to 55 millimeters. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side, once I'm happy that it's dimensioned, I click the tick, and then I go to the extrude button, I'm going to extrude 3mm deep, and we just need to select the sketch, and you'll see it's done that 3mm extrusion, click OK, I'm then going to do the next bit which is add the circles on, so again, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, just selecting that top face, and again, we're now going to go to center point circle. Again, it's quite easy to uh, attach to that origin option, but it's not actually, it wants to be a bit further on. So again, if I zoom in, because we've done it as a center point, you can see basically these lines that you can see, the sort of shading is where the work planes cross. So again, you should be able to attach right to the very middle of the top face, it goes to a square. Make it a big circle, it doesn't matter how big you do. And then, because we're going to dimension it to six millimeters like we did the other one, Click on the tick. Once we've done that, we then click on our extrude. This time, remember, we're going to remove material. Again, select inside the circle. Clearly, you can see it's gone all the way through. But, uh, one thing you can do, some of the bits and pieces, obviously, normally we're typing in sort of three millimeters here. We could, if we, uh, if we can't remember the measurement, and we want a hole all the way through, rather than do a blind hole, so that's telling us how deep it is, we can actually click this little arrow button and just say through all, so we don't really need to worry about the, how thick our piece is here. We can just click through all and it will create a hole through uh, through your work. Again, you just want to finish that off by changing the colour. So again, I'm going to change this one to a yellow. So I'll click on the yellow, click OK, minimise the appearance panel, and we've then finished our 55mm acrylic square.